So you might be in this random situation or for some reason your touch ID is just not working inside of your Mac. So if you go and take a look at your Mac keyboard at the very top right corner, that is where you're going to have your touch ID sensor. Now, the very first thing I'd recommend thinking about is if you're using your touch ID on your Mac, that sensor, you know, if you're using your fingers, right, obviously, sometimes over time that sensor can have some like dust on it. It can have a lot of corrosion and stuff built up on top of it. The very best thing you can do here is to go through and clean off this particular sensor. So grab maybe a napkin, don't make it too wet, but just go through and try wiping down this sensor, try wiping down this you know, particular button. And that is a very, very big thing I'd recommend doing. Now, another big thing you're going to have to remember is that whatever finger you set up on that particular button, you want to make sure you're using the same exact finger. If you're using a different finger or a different type of layout, that might not end up working out for you. So all you're going to have to do here is just go through and make sure you're using the same exact finger to go and boot up your MacBook. So, you know, just make sure that's the case. If that's still not working, you can try rebooting your MacBook as well. So what you could do actually is hold down this button. So what you could do is you could hold down that button to reboot and power down your Mac. Or what you could also do is just go through and just, you know, just click on the trackpad here, scroll to the top, Apple logo, power off, turn off, and then power down your MacBook. And you want to see if that ends up fixing the problem, which for some, people, for some people that might end up doing it too. If that's still not working, you might want to try going through and you might want to see if you can actually update your particular MacBook. So once again, try grabbing your particular MacBook, you know, itself, try checking for macOS updates and all those things. And you might want to go and see if that ends up fixing the problem for you, because there's a big chance that might end up doing it. And that's exactly what I'd recommend doing in your particular situation as well. So those are kind of the main ways to go and do it. If you have any other thoughts or questions, please let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that me so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.